Hi, my name is Chris Dolan. I'm the Vice President of Sales for Marina Electrical Equipment based out of Williamsburg, Virginia. Today we're going to talk about what to do prior to placing an order, when you place an order, and what to do when your shipment arrives to make sure that it's all in one piece and if there is any damage, we'll follow the proper steps to make sure that that's taken care of in the, in the most efficient possible manner. At Marina Electrical Equipment, we strive to have the best customer service in the industry, and we want that to be not only going through your sales process, but also during when the shipment arrives and after. So the first thing you wanna do is prior to placing your order, you wanna have a contact name in mind. We'll need that to give to the shipper to make sure that if there is damage or when they're actually bringing the shipment to your site, we have someone there so they can inspect items when they arrive. We'll need the person's name, phone number, and email address to be able to provide that information to our shipping companies. Along those lines, you'll also need a shipping dock, receiving dock, or some sort of forklift to be able to get items off of the truck. If you do not have these items, let your salesperson know, and we can make uh, arrangements to have that done uh, either through a lift gate or some other item. Keep in mind that those additional provisions will have an extra cost associated with it. All Marina Electrical Equipments are shipped FOB origin, meaning that as soon as Marina Electrical Equipment loads products onto the truck safely, it is now the responsibility of the end customer if there is any damage. Once your item has shipped, you should receive a confirmation number from our sales staff or from our accounting staff. If you do not do that, contact the office and we will provide that for you immediately. Uh, once items arrive, there are going to be a few steps that you're going to need to go through to ensure that the items have arrived safely and that there's not any damage. We'll go through those right now. Once your driver has arrived, unload all of the items on the pallets off of the truck. Before the driver leaves, you're going to want to inspect the product for damage. First, we're going to look at it from the outside with all of the packaging on. You're going to want to check the pallet. Make sure that it's in one piece. Are there any boards that are protruding or broken on the pallet? Does the packaging have any signs of rubbing? Are there any streaks in it? Are there any punctures in it? You're gonna to wanna to check these. If there are, we're gonna go even further to talk about what's inside the pallet, but you're gonna to wanna to note any damage with the driver while they're on site so we can make sure that there is a problem, that all these steps are followed and we can get this taken care of for you right away. Once you've checked out the pallet from the outside with all of the packaging on, while the driver's still there, we're again, we're gonna to wanna to remove all of the packaging. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that all the parts and pieces are in one piece. Are there any cracks? Does there appear to be any damage in any paint? Um, any items that look like they've come loose during shipment? If any of the bolts appear to have been damaged, you're gonna to wanna to note that on the bill of lading. Not only check everything from the outside here, but we also want to get inside of the pallet here, take a look, because not all damage is going to be visible from the outside here. We're going to want to look in and see if any two pedestals may have hit each other during shipment. If everything here looks good, we're okay to accept the shipment. If you do find any signs of damage, any of the items that we've discussed so far, you're going to want to mark this on the bill of lading while the driver's there. You're going to want to make sure that they see this and they document this to take it back to their, their main company so we can follow the next steps if there are, is damage. If you find these after you've marked everything on the bill of ladings, contact Marina Electrical Equipment. We will help you get in contact with the shipping person that you'll need to start filing a report to make sure that any items that are damaged are going to be taken care of. Again, at Marina Electrical Equipment, we strive to provide you with the best service possible with the way that shipping is done these days, we wanna make sure that if you do have any damage that we get this taken care of and we follow the proper steps. Go through this video again if you have any questions or you can always contact us at 855-258-3939 and we'll be happy to help you in any way we can. Again, thank you very much for purchasing our products and if there's anything we can do, please do not hesitate to reach out to us. Thank you. For distribution equipment, such as substations and panel boards, we're also going to follow the same procedures. Along the lines of making sure that all of the mounting bolts are in one piece, you also want to check all of the access panels that are at the base. Uh, sometimes these items can be dropped and these can be damaged. If you see any denting or if anything does not look like it's in the correct form, follow the steps that we talked about previously and document that damage. Another thing you want to check on your distribution equipment 
is the frames. You want to make sure that all of your housings, your frames, make sure they don't have any scratches or paint damage. If you do experience any of this, again, mark it on your bill of lading while your driver's there, and Marine Electrical Equipment will tell you the next steps to take care of it. Thank you very much for watching the video today. Also, thank you very much for your business. We would not be in the position we are in the industry without customers like yourselves, and we greatly appreciate your business. Again, at Marina Electrical Equipment, we strive to offer the best customer service in the industry. So if you ever need anything, please let us know. Thank you very much.